Michael Horst, Chief Architect here at Comforte. Welcome to our whiteboard session series about PCI 3.4 compliance with Base24. We will start the series with the question, why should I care? Isn't Base24 certified under the Payment Application Data Security Standard? And didn't most Base24 environments pass PCI DSS audit successfully? So why is this relevant? Well, historically, Base24 users could not meet a core requirement explicitly stated in the PCI standard. This is requirement 3.4, which demands you to render the PAN unreadable anywhere where it is stored by encryption, tokenization or other suitable mechanisms. Looking at this simplified picture of Base24, we can see where Base24 stores cardholder data. First of all, it stores transaction data in log files. Then it also stores a lot of uh, PANs in cardholder data files. And finally, it also creates export files for transmission to other systems in regular intervals and it may update cardholder data from import files stored on the system. Note that a typical Base24 system processes and stores a massive amount of PANs, potentially millions on a single day. Any malicious access to these files would be absolutely disastrous. It would be very expensive in post-incident handling. It will probably get you on the front page of the newspapers and massively damage your brand. Now, why is rendering the pan unreadable required by PCI? Let's look at some basic principles of securing data at rest from an attacker's perspective. To steal credit card data, the attacker would need to bypass your network and perimeter security. He would also need to overcome your antivirus protection. He would then need to gain the right level of access control to get onto your internal network systems. And he would need to avoid detection through monitoring happening at the various levels. Recent data breaches have shown that this is possible using so-called advanced persistent threats. These attacks are real. They are very sophisticated. They find the data. They get around the walls. They get through the walls. Insider attacks are another serious danger. A privileged user with legitimate access to sensitive data storage is already inside many of these walls. So if a disgruntled employee or a contractor goes rough, damage can be significant. Here PCI requirement 3.4 comes into play. Even when credit card information is stolen, misplaced, lost or misused, it's protected as long as the pan is rendered unreadable. So the pan is basically taken out of the picture. Rendering the pan unreadable is your last line of defense. That's why it is a core requirement of the PCI standard. It's also obvious that encryption of the data can only be effective against insider attacks and advanced persistent threats if decryption keys are managed independently from the operating system and are not tied to user accounts. That's why this is explicitly required for encryption solutions in the PCI standard. Now let's come back to the Base24 systems. Why do such critical systems rely on compensating controls instead of fully implementing the PCI DSS standard for best protection of the data? Unfortunately, Base24 does not provide any data level encryption. Changing the Base24 code and database to implement that protection would be a huge effort and is simply not feasible for most customers in practice. Thus, Base24 users worldwide were forced to fall back on compensating controls as the second best choice. 
This is where the Comforte Secure Data 24 solution comes in. For the first time ever, Base24 can be made fully PCI 3.4 compliant. Secure Data 24 works completely transparent at the I.O. level. It does not require any code changes and can be integrated easily into existing processing environments. And unlike disk volume level encryption, Secure Data 24 manages logical access to decryption keys independently of the native operating system mechanism and does not tie it to user accounts. Even better, it can not only help you to achieve full PCI 3.4 compliance for Base24 servers, but also for other enterprise systems exchanging PAN data with them. Do you want to learn more? Then don't miss the next part of this whiteboard session series, which will focus on the question how to get fully PCI 3.4 compliant with Comforter Secure Data 24. Thank you for listening and see you again soon.